Hello guys, I am Yasser Ali and here in this tutorial we will discuss nitrogen flow circuit in a nitrogen pumping unit. But before going ahead, let's just organize our understanding. We are basically discussing nitrogen equipment and its operating. In our discussion about nitrogen equipment and its operating, up till now we have discussed introduction to nitrogen pumping unit in detail. Now we'll see nitrogen flow circuit and it will help us to understand the interaction between different components of a nitrogen pumping unit. So let's see the nitrogen flow circuit. As we have already discussed the main components of a nitrogen pumping unit. That these components are nitrogen storage tank, liquid nitrogen storage tank, then low pressure manifold and uh, C pump also known as boost pump then the control panel after that we have cryogenic pump also known as high pressure triplex pump and then we have vaporizer and then the discharge line so this is the basically flow path so first of all nitrogen is stored in the this nitrogen tank in a liquid form and the pressure of this nitrogen is approximately 20 psi during pumping after that nitrogen exits from this tank and enters to this C pump also known as boost pump here we can see okay nitrogen is exiting from this storage tank and will enter to this boost pump when the nitrogen is exiting from this tank and is entering to this C pump its pressure is approximately 20 psi then nitrogen exits the C pump and move towards this triplex pump also known as cryogenic triplex pump we can simply say that this boost C pump is providing feed to this cryogenic triplex pump and the pressure of this liquid nitrogen after this boost pump is approximately 60 psi and the purpose of this boost pump is just to increase the pressure of this liquid nitrogen which is stored in this tank so that we can have a continuous supply to this triplex pump and its pressure is approximately 60 psi once the nitrogen is entered to this triplex pump it will be pumped at high pressure depending on the requirement mostly this pump have the capability to pump at approximately 10,000 psi after the nitrogen discharge from this high pressure pump it will enter to this vaporizer in the vaporizer this liquid nitrogen gets converted into a nitrogen gas before the vaporizer nitrogen is in liquid form when nitrogen enter to this vaporizer and exit it gets converted into gaseous form and then this gaseous nitrogen is ultimately is pumped into the well this is the discharge line which is then connected to the pumping line which is ultimately connected to the well for its pumping so this was the brief discussion about nitrogen flow path or nitrogen flow circuit in a typical nitrogen pumping unit that's it thank you very much see you in the next tutorial